Road Toolbar gives quick access to all the road design functions and can be accessed from the Applications Toolbar. For the creation of the reference alignment for the road design, the intersection point method will be used for both the horizontal and vertical. Intersection points, or IPs, once created can be modified by drag and drop, move or slide. Curve details can be edited and construction tools make quick alignment easy to learn and easy to use. Quick horizontal alignment or QHA design can be accessed from either the main menu through design quick alignment horizontal design or from any of the MX application toolbars. The model selection dialog will require the name of the model which will store the alignment and the name of the alignment string. If you are using MX Road, the string name must follow the string naming convention, so the master string will start with MC and the third character is the road identity. The QHA toolbar allows you to set up parameters for default radii and transitions. There are tools for creating and modifying IPs. The OK icon for creating the master string, a green tick. The individual icons will now be shown. Parameters can be defined for an entire project or a single alignment. Default transitions can be defined by length, A value, RL value or design speed. Default radius for all curves can be set. These values will stay current until the parameters are redefined. Add IPs, select the IP position with the cursor, snaps can be turned on to lock to MX features, or use keyboard entry. To amend a curve value, select the Edit Curve Details icon and select the curve you wish to amend by clicking on it in the display. The current values will appear in the dialog box, just amend the values and select OK. Editing IP locations. Insert an IP will insert a new IP between existing IP locations and is affected by the snap icon. Move IP is also affected by the snap icon. To amend an IP location by free drag, select it from the screen and with the left hand mouse button depressed, move the IP to the location of your choice. Note any curves or transitions associated to that IP will move along with it. Sliding an IP location. Click before or after the IP you wish to move and keep the left hand mouse button selected. The IP will move maintaining its bearing depending on which side of the IP you have chosen. The Construct IP tool enables placement of an IP by constructing the bearing or distance relative to another IP. Select near the required IP, set the angle and distance. The angle can also be amended by increments of 90 degrees. Creating a master string. When the alignment is complete, click the green tick to save. Set the chainage for the first IP and set the chainage interval. The master string will be redisplayed using plan style set associated to the model. I'm going to use the MX Road toolbar to create my first master string for this road design I need to select MX Road from the applications toolbar. This is just a toggle if I click on the applications toolbar again the toolbar will disappear click on it again the MX Road toolbar appears. This can also be docked into the panel so I'm going to lift this up and dock it and here it is on the left hand side first toolbar that I want to use is alignment so I'm going to left click and here is my alignment toolbar and I need to create my first horizontal de design so I left click on the icon I'm going to create a new model for the design I'm going to call it design and I need to create a new alignment string name I left click in that panel now because the design model does not exist MX warns me and asks me do I want to create the model or not. In this case the answer is yes and I'm going to create a new alignment called MC10 or 10. 
and I'm going to go next. Now remember, every string designed off this alignment will have the same third character, which will be a 1. I've now got the quick horizontal alignment toolbar, and the first thing I'm going to do is set up parameters for the scheme. I left click on the icon, and I'm going to define my transitions by speed. My speed today is going to be 60 kilometers per hour, and my default radius is 360 meters. I've also got annotation options available to me, and I'm going to leave these as the default. I hit OK to apply the parameters. Now these will be maintained unless I change the parameters. I'm going to now place my first intersection point. We're going to tie in to an existing road down in the bottom right of the drawing. And I'm going to use Add IP. I'm also going to select the snap because I do want to tie in exactly to the end of this existing road. And if you can see here on the toolbar, snap is on. It's just a toggle. Off, on. I need to keep my eye on that because there are times when you are applying these IPs and you think you are snapping to an MX feature and you will not because you've got the snap turned off. So snap on, add IP, select the end of the road. I'm now going to uh, construct my second IP which needs to be 250 meters away from this first IP. I'm going to use construct. I'm just going to move the view. IP1 at the moment has no tangent out. Now I want to use the same bearing as the existing road centerline. So I click into new bearing to make it active and I left click on the surveyed point. This will extract the bearing from the survey feature and currently this is at 137 degrees. Now I need to rotate this bearing by 180 degrees to come up the site so I select this icon here and rotate it once and twice to get the 180 degrees. I then need to type in a value for my second IP and this is going to be 250 meters away from the first IP. I am going to OK that. If I window out we can see I've constructed my second IP which is tangential to the existing road center line and is 250 meters away from the first IP. I'm now going to add a further two IPs so I'm going to select IP and I'm going to use something called keyboard entry and I can type in the values for my third IP so I'm going to type in 37958 the northing will be 11609 I'm going to apply and then the fourth IP will be 37728 for the easting and my northing is 11833. I'll hit OK and I'll window out and there is my alignment. Now just to make things a little bit easier to display I'm going to use the level manager. I'm going to turn off all these spot levels which I know are point features. So I select point features and I freeze the level. As my alignment. I can see from the, the drawing that I have straights in yellow, my transitions are in red, and the curves are in cyan. I can also use the annotation tools, so if I hit the icon on the toolbar for annotation, we have a standard tip file which will annotate the drawing and if I window in 
we can see the lengths and bearings of each straight. We've got change annotation every 100 meters. We've got transition lengths. Again, I can check these against the design speed. And in cyan, as I said, we've got the curve horizontal intersection point in annotation and more information on the curve. This is just a toggle. If I left click again on the icon on the quick alignment toolbar, the annotation is removed. We're going to view some of the other icons on the toolbar. The first icon next to the parameters is curve details. Again, if I move the panel and just zoom out a little bit so I can see the two curves. As I place my cursor over each curve, I get information about the IP. Transition design speeds, radii, and if I go to the third IP again, we get the, the left-hand curve there. I can see the negative 360 meter radius for the curve. The third icon on the toolbar will delete an alignment. Let's have a left click. You can see that the alignment's been removed from the screen. This is where the undo button on the third from the right on the toolbar is very useful. Let's undo. Do I want to undo? Yes, please. That brings my original alignment back. We've also got a reverse alignment. Currently, my chain is zero is at the start of the alignment and running up the screen. If I click on reverse alignment, change zero would be at the top with the IPs running down the screen. I've already mentioned the snap, that is just a toggle on or off. We've looked at construct. We have insert IP. I've got snap off, so if I just left click in the drawing I've inserted an IP. Now, unfortunately, due to the length of my curve and transitions, I've got a warning saying I have got overlap. But you can see it is, has inserted the intersection point. I'm going to undo just to remove that IP. We have move. Again, if I move, I can just got my left cursor selecting the IP, keep the cursor pressed down, let go. And I've moved the IP. Remember, the snaps will affect this move. Undo again. I've got slide. Again, if I pick above IP3, click the left button, keep it pressed in. As I drag this, you can see the outgoing bearing of the IP is maintained. I'll undo that. If I slide by selecting below the IP, I maintain the incoming bearing. Again, I let go of the cursor and the IP has been moved. I will undo. We then have edit curve. And if I select a curve from the display, there's my transition speed, my radius. I can change anything here. I'm going to change this to a 200 meter radius and apply. I can undo. Close the panel. We can edge a straight. We might need to put a different design speed on a straight. We've got remove IP. Again, if I select an IP, it's been removed from the display and I will undo that. We've also got a clearance check. So I'm going to select that. And we can choose between a clearance line and a clearance circle. We want to see how close we are to this existing building with our alignment. So I left click, keep the cursor pressed down, let go over the alignment to get a distance. I can repeat with the clearance circle. I can left click, keep the cursor depressed, let go, and I get a distance or radius from the corner of the building. Now remember, this is a quick alignment clearance check. We haven't used any snapping. If I window in there, we are only approximate with our measurements. I can also remove clearances. My radio button is set on clearance circle, so I can remove the circle. If I set the radio button on clearance line, I can remove the line. 
I'll close the panel. If I'm happy with the alignment, I can OK to create a master string. The default alignment start chain is just zero, which is at my tie-in with the existing road, and I'm happy with the change interval of 10 meters, so I'm going to select OK. This generates my master alignment, and the new alignment is redisplayed in the drawing. As you can see here, the feature name set and plan style set for MX Road displays a master string in a solid red line with changes every 100 meters. We also have annotation at all the horizontal tangent points for the alignment. That's my transition going into the curve. I'll now hit Fit View, and there's my alignment.